How should you be using required fields on your forms? Each form you create is for a specific purpose, and the questions you ask will help you gain some much needed insight. But how do you decide which questions you should turn into required fields and which you should leave optional? After all, aren't all the questions important? Striking the right balance of required and non-required form fields can help you avoid frustrated users abandoning the form before they finish filling it out. I'm Noel with JotForm, and in today's video, we'll discuss what exactly required form fields are and how to decide when required form fields are necessary. Let's go. Required form fields are form fields that a user must complete before they can submit the form. It's that simple. By making a form field required, you're showing the respondent their specific answer to that question is needed and useful. Of course, you can put non-required form fields on a form too. But let's say you're doing a community survey and want to gauge a general feeling from your community members. This survey might not have those make or break form fields, so leaving them optional is totally fine. But e-commerce form fields would have form fields like credit card information and billing addresses. These are necessary and should be required. Now that you know what required form fields are, it's time to figure out how you choose when you do and don't need to utilize them. Try asking yourself these three questions. One, what is my goal for this form? Two, what info do I need to accomplish that goal? And three, what info is absolutely crucial? Let's take a look at the first question. What is your goal for this form? Solidify a goal that's specific and as limited in scope as possible. Doing so will help you really narrow in on your objective. Your goal could be anything from collecting payment info, trying to find out which products your customers love to use, or signing up volunteers for a charity raffle. After you've solidified your form objective, figure out what info you'll need from respondents to accomplish that goal. Try making a list of that necessary info. Don't overdo this list either. Keep it as relevant to your objective as possible. No need to order this list quite yet. Just write down all necessary form fields. Once you've gotten your necessary form field list written down, you can rank that list from most essential to least. If you're gathering volunteers for a charity raffle, a name and contact information would be at the top of your list, whereas t-shirt size and availability might not be as important. If you're creating an e-commerce checkout form, there's a lot of required info needed like customer's name, address, phone number, email, and payment info. A customer can't complete checking out without all of that info being entered. Volunteer names and contact info and customer billing and payment info are all examples of required form fields. Just be sure to keep this in mind. The more fields people are required to fill in, the less likely they are to complete it. This is why it's so important for you to do some hard work narrowing down what's truly important to gather and what can be optional. JotForm can be a helpful tool when creating forms with required fields. By default, all of JotForm's fields are optional. All you have to do is select the field and click on the gear icon to bring up field properties. From there, find the toggle labeled Required and click it into position. Easy. Whether this is your first time creating a form or you're a seasoned form pro, these required form tips will help you create the most effective forms possible. Let's review. If you're trying to decide between required or optional form fields, just follow these three steps. First, solidify the goal for your form. Second, figure out what info you need to gather to accomplish that goal. Third, decide which info is crucial and mark those fields as required. That's all for now. I'm Noel with JotForm. See you next time.